Welcome to the first module of this week. We are going to start this week with the module, the introduction to search engine optimization. During this module, you will specifically learn that what is the meaning of search engine optimization? How does Google search engine work? What are various types of search engine optimization? And why it is important to have the knowledge of search engine optimization for every webmaster? In one of the sessions, I discuss with you that visibility is the most important step of digital marketing process. There are different ways of creating the visibility for your website or for your business, such as owned visibility, paid visibility, and earned visibility. The one of the most important way of having the own visibility is having your own website. But do you think just by developing the website, you will create the visibility for your business. Before you answer, let us look at this example. Suppose you are new to the market and develop a very good looking website for your business and want your prospects to visit the site. Now tell me, will your prospect type your domain name in the browser to open your site? Think for a while. Yes. They can, but only if you are a very popular brand and people remember your domain name and they are looking for very specific product, service or information and are sure about it that the required product, service or information will be available on your site. In this case, you are the lucky one. But in the practical world, reality is different. You will agree with me that people are not directly going to the websites. Rather, they search for solution to their problems or seek information on wide range of topics or search for product or services. In this case, it matters a lot on which page of Google result your website will be shown against the keywords used by the user. Because according to Search Engine Journal, on an average, 91.5% of traffic to your website comes from first search result page that is organic results and according to HubSpot 75% of internet users never scroll past the first page of search results remaining users either go to the second page of Google results or change their keywords that means internet users usually find the relevant information on the very first page itself. All these things have significant implications for your website and business because there are high chances that your potential customer is on Google or any other search engine and is searching for you not by your brand name but through few keywords. Now look at few interesting facts that will help you to understand the significance of search engines and of course to be on the first page of SCRP. 93% of all online experiences begin with the search engine. 3.8 million searches happen per minute. 4 in 5 customers use search engines to find the local information. It means every business will prefer to be included in the Google results and more precisely to be on the first page. After realizing the power of Google search engine, let us understand more about Google results. When we search anything on Google, there are two types of results. One is organic results and another is inorganic results. Like here, you can see. If I search for cheap flights, then in SCRP, there are two types of results. The first category of result is inorganic results. These are usually advertisements and sponsored content. You have to pay to the Google to get your advertisement placed here. However, just paying some amount to the Google doesn't guarantee that your ad will be placed here. There are many more factors in this regard. We will discuss all these factors in the module on Google Ads. The second type of result is organic results. You can see here. Now the important question. 
do I need to pay something to the Google to list my website here? To your surprise, no, not at all. Google has its own algorithm to decide whether your site will be shown in the organic results or not. If it will be shown, then on which page? First, second or last page? And even on the page itself, will it be the first result or the last result? But one thing is clear that Google will not charge anything from you to show your website in the Google search results or to show it on very first page. It all depends on Google's search algorithm. But the question is, how my website will be included in the first page and will be sufficiently ranked high on that page so that visitor click on it and reach to my website? Before I answer this question, first, let us understand how does Google search engine work in layman's language. When we search anything in Google, there may be millions of web pages that may have useful information related to your search query. How Google decide which page to show start long before even you type. The key step in entire Google search process are organization of web content, that is indexing of pages. All web pages information is organized in the search index by the Google. The index is similar to the library index. But the question is, how Google collect information about millions of web pages? The answer is web crawlers. Actually, the crawling process begins when a website address is submitted to the Google by the website owner through specially designed platform by the Google for this purpose called Google Search Console. In our case, even you have to submit your websites to the Google for crawling purpose. How? Just wait for it. When crawlers visit website, they collect the relevant information from the home page and follow other links provided on the home page to collect more information about your website and bring the data about these pages back to the Google server, which is very huge where the data of all the website is stored. Further, it will be all decided by the computer program which site to crawl, how often, and how many pages to fetch from each site. Once a crawler visits website, it renders the content of the web pages and at the back end, key signals of web pages such as keywords, freshness, etc. are recorded for each page in the search index. Google search index contains hundreds of billions of web pages approximately 100 million gigabyte data. Let us see what happens at the back end when we type our search query. First, Google looks the presence of our keywords into index pages in the fraction of second and shortlist various pages. Then, the sorting and ranking of web pages is handled by the search algorithm to find most relevant and useful results. Actually, when it comes to the ranking of website, search algorithm look at many factors, including the word of your query, relevance and the usability of pages, quality of web pages through page rank, expertise of the source, and your location and settings. Then, the weight is assigned to each factor to arrive at the final ranking. The weight applied to each factor varies depending upon nature of your query. For example, the freshness of the content plays a bigger role in answering the queries about the current news topics than it does about the dictionary definitions. Once the sorting is done, results are sent back to the user in the SCRP, that is, search engine result page. So in this video, I have just highlighted the working and significance of Google search engine. I hope now you have fair idea about that how does Google search engine work? Actually, it is very important to understand these basic concepts before we jump to the search engine optimization. So, in the next video, I will explain that what is the meaning of search engine optimization and what are various types of search engine optimization.